Chris, how's, how's, how maybe a bunch of guys anxious to kind of get back out there and play and maybe win the challenge this week against Jacksonville? Uh, you know, of course, we, you know, the entire team, I feel like, is ready to get out there and, you know, get that bad taste, you know, from losing. You know, losing any game, you know, it's a bad taste in your mouth. And the only way you can get it out, you know, by going out there competing, you know, playing hard and, you know, putting y'all out there on the field on another game. What did you see from the quarterback and maybe how much threat of him running maybe in the back of your minds as well? Oh, you know, Trevor, you know, he's a great athlete. You know, he's a sneaky athlete for sure. You know, you can definitely see it on tape, you know, a lot with his own read game and, what, and whatnot. But, you know, um, he's a sneaky athlete. And, you know, we, we just got to be prepared, you know, rally and tackle. What are some of the things that, that you're seeing just from your perspective as far as like, with these explosive plays that, that you guys have, have given up? Um, you know, we just got to come out here, you know, um, all get on the same page, and, you know, and just come out here and challenge and compete. You know, that's kind of been the, um, the, big, the big focus, you know, um, this week, especially, you know, after the last game, you know, you know, just getting up, you know, challenging and competing on every play. Challenge Chris for DPs. You know, when, when the pocket breaks down, when the quarterback gets out to the side, what's the hardest thing about sticking to the receiver? Uh, just, just, just keeping your eyes on your man and plastering. You know, uh, it's, 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 it's definitely easier said than done, but you know, you got to keep your eyes on your man, keep your eyes on his hips, you know, and, and just plaster, you know, try to match him because, you know, when scrambles happen, you know, the receivers can go left, right, forward, back, you know, they can pretty much freelance. And so you just kind of playing off him, you know, you're playing basketball at that point. It's pretty much it's harder to cover the receiver at that point than it is at the start of the play. Yeah, you know, uh, definitely, because, you know, um, receiver can pretty much go anywhere. So, you know, you're just trying to plaster, you know, just keep your eyes on your man, you know, stay in his hip pocket, and, you know, do, do the best job you can. Can you take us through that process of like going bunch, going against bunch formations, zero splits? Like as a nickel, I would imagine like you got to jam the point man. Can you just kind of take me through that that whole process? Out of um, you know, it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of communication that goes into you know uh, they line up in, in you know stacks and bunches you know to kind of get guys off so you know we can't get up there and challenge you know they they uh. When they do that, you know, they want softer coverage, you know, uh, from the defense. So, you know, we just got to get up there, you know, um, as a group, you know, uh, line up, you know, uh, and, and kind of figure out how we're going to uh, challenge, challenge these guys out of the bunches and out of the stacks. Is that something that you're encouraged to do, though, like to, to jam that point, man, to, to throw everything off? Um, yeah, we definitely encourage, you know, to get up there and challenge. You know, that's what we're trying to do, you know. So, you know, uh, whenever they're in the bunches in the stacks, you know, we got to get up there and challenge, you know. We got to all be on the same page because, you know, there's different ways to work them. But, you know, we just got to get up there and challenge. Think you've done with that so far? Uh, you know, uh, definitely we, we can improve, you know. We can always improve on every aspect of the game. So, you know, we're definitely working hard to, you know, improve on that, you know, every other aspect of the game. You kind of in Caleb's shoes this time last year. I mean, how much have you kind of said, hey, hang in there, your time's coming, and how's he kind of handled maybe the patience part of it? Oh, you know, you know, Caleb's uh, he's a he's a great young talent. You know, he's 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 an exceptional talent. You know, you can tell, you know, from being in the meeting rooms with him, you know, coming out here in the practice field, you know, every day, you know, he's striving to get better and, you know, just be great and, you know, live, live up to his own expectations. You know, he's, he's very high on himself, and so, you know, um, I feel like Caleb's a great guy. He just he just figuring it out right now, and once he figures it out, he's going to be exceptional uh, uh, corner in this league. I mean, you guys are you wide receivers, Chris, have kind of made an emphasis on, on maybe playing a little bit more physical this week and. and trying to do that to get open. I wonder if you've noticed that in practice. Is that made up? Yeah, you know, our, our receivers, you know, come out and, you know, compete every day, you know. Um, you know, um, I'm, you know, of course I'm not with them or not, but a lot. But, you know, when we come out here and compete, you know, 7-on-7 and seven stuff, you can tell our, our receivers have definitely taken it to heart, you know, to come out here and compete and, you know, and definitely get better.